Hello everyone, welcome back to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Kate Lawler has revealed she and her fiancé Martin were in the worst possible place for a couple as she details their relationship ahead of their upcoming wedding. In a candid new interview, the Big Brother winner, 41, admitted that she WASNT prepared for the seismic shift in their relationship following the birth of their daughter Noah, 14 months. However, the star told how her first week since quitting Virgin Radio had already seen things dramatically improve with her fiancé and her daughter, with Kate and Martin now happily looking forward to their nuptials in June. The 2002 Big Brother winner, presenter, DJ and author, had her first child Noah one last February after insisting for a long time she never wanted to be a mum, while her partner of nine years Martin, known affectionately as boy, was desperate for kids. Speaking to Kate Thornton on her White Wine Question Time podcast, Kate explained, since we became parents our relationship has changed so much. I want to say for the better, but sadly we both know, and we're acutely aware of this, that we haven't prioritized our relationship at all and we know that we need to take steps to improve it. We're getting married in two months and we've actually had like the hardest year as a couple so far. But we know it's because we became parents and your life changes monumentally when you become parents. She continued, I WASNT prepared for the seismic shift in our relationship, I thought it would change my life, me personally, but I didnt think about how much it would affect us as a couple even though I had friends giving me advice saying look you're both going to say things you don't mean, you're both going to be more tired than you've ever been before. We went out for a curry the other night because I pointed out that since Noah was born a year ago we've only been out on our own on a date twice. It's not good enough, I can't be bothered to put on makeup and find something to wear. I want to sit in my pajamas and read a book. She went on, we'd only been out for our anniversary in June, four months after Noah had been born. And we spent most of it looking on the monitor like ooh, is she okay? His mum was babysitting. So the last week has been great, we're talking, we're communicating, we're just better with each other. Last month, Kate told how Boy, who proposed back in 2018, had brought them couples therapy in a bid to start their marriage on right foot. Speaking about the effect it has had on their relationship, she said, it was Boy's suggestion that we start couples therapy, and I can't recommend it enough because it's really helped us. Shush has given us tools that we've applied when it comes to that feeling when an argument is brewing and you know that you're going to go down a road that's going to lead to anger and shouting. I felt really bad saying this to Boy. But part of the reason I didnt want a kid was because I was so scared of what it would do to our relationship. I feel that he knew that when arguments were brewing over the last year and it'd say this is why I knew we shouldn't have. And I hate myself for saying that because it's horrible for him to hear it, for me saying I knew that it would do this to us, I knew it would break us, I knew that we would end up resenting each other, and falling out and becoming like distant and being in the worst place possible for a couple who are about to get married. But we're coming out of the other side, we know what we need to do and we're trying to make sure that at the bottom of this, that us going into our marriage we want to start on the right foot which is why we decided therapy would be the best route for us. And we would just focus on spending more time together as a family, and less time on our phones and less time working in the evenings when we're supposed to be having that quality time together. She added, I'm focusing on the wedding now, it's all about just spending the next two months, doing as little work as possible just to take a little breather and make sure that I'm happy on my wedding day. I don't want to feel like I've been feeling on my wedding day, I want to be a happy bride. The radio DJ's interview with Kate came after her first week of having time off after leaving Virgin, with the star noting that her partner noticed a difference in her. She said, I had therapy I think it was on Wednesday and she said to me don't worry if you don't feel different straight away, it might take a bit of time for you to readjust to your new life with not doing the radio. But I can already, within a week, I know I feel better and that I feel like I can breathe, and I feel happier and me and boy are better. I've just had such a great week with Noah, and I've not had any childcare this week because boy's mum has been on holiday. 
but even without childcare I've loved every minute, six months ago I wouldn't have been able to say this because I was in such a mess and I never thought it'd be happy again and I never thought that it'd spend a day with Noah where I didn't cry. I was very naive in thinking that being a parent was not a full-time job, I used to mop my twin sister. I was so mean to her, she would say I'm a full-time mum on her Facebook page and I was like you take your kids to the park. I had no idea what being a parent entailed, I said oh you just sit at home and take your kids to the park. But it is so full on and demanding, but I feel like it's paying off already because I've had a great week with Noah and I'm spending quality time with her. She added, I was wrong about not enjoying hanging out with kids, I genuinely thought I would not enjoy being around Noah as much. I promised myself I would never go to a parent and baby group, and I went to one on Wednesday and I f asterisking loved it. Meanwhile, with her wedding fast approaching, Kate took to her Instagram stories on Thursday to share further details about her big day during AQA. The beauty revealed how Shush is tying the knot on June 11th at an East London venue, with her darling daughter acting as a bridesmaid. Kate also revealed that Shush has turned down a magazine deal, that they're having a non-religious ceremony as they're both atheists and that Noah and their dogs will be joining them on the second part of their honeymoon. Elsewhere on Thursday, the mum of one proudly showed off her C-section scar and revealed she had no plans to remove it. Kate gave fans a glimpse of her scar after she wore special plasters to fade it slightly as it was raised, with the scar a proud reminder of what the female body is capable of. Alongside images, she wrote, On February 11, 2021, I gave birth to Noah and it was such a magical experience. It was a planned, abdominal birth and I felt completely calm throughout, the lights were dimmed, boy was by my side, we had a playlist on of our favorite songs and the surgery went well with no complications. I was also very lucky to heal quite quickly, despite the multicolored bruising, pain and discomfort for the first three weeks after birth. I'm proud of my scar and will never remove it permanently as it reminds me of one of the most special days of my life. This tiny red smile that I catch a glimpse of every day in the mirror still makes me feel in awe of what the female body is capable of. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update.